Hello ladies and gentlemen, my name is Jack, and I'm a Christian. However, for the purposes of this video, I will be responding as an atheist to DPR Jones's recent video called Religion and its Disconnect from Reality. The reason why I will be doing this is because I want to help people avoid the common mistake of bringing up aspects of Christianity and theism instead of addressing the arguments to be made, the criticisms to be had. And I'm interested to see how other atheists will engage with people from within a similar framework as their own. DPR Jones, you say religion and its disconnect from reality. The title itself is an assumption regarding things, isn't it? I mean, as atheists, we don't believe words actually have some sort of sense beyond us as humans, right? I mean, we are the byproducts of random mutation, natural selection occurring over the course of time. We are the creators of language. We are the ones that bring meaning and significance, value and worth to the words in which we use and how we use them. So you make a lot of assumptions and inferences really just from the title alone. When you say religion is disconnected from reality, exactly what about, first of all, what is reality? What about this reality says that something is to be connected to it? And how does existence inform any of that? I would say, Existence tells you nothing of what should or should not be connected to your notion of reality. You make a lot, tons of, I mean, really throughout your video, the title alone is laden with assumptions that you make that you have not justified, that you have not given a foundation for. I'm not sure why you think that, uh, you know, in this way, your video is really inconsistent. I mean, you want to criticize the religious and yet you begin with a lot of assumptions that are based that are really circular now admittedly the religious engage in circularity at a point too but i mean at least be honest that you're doing the same here you begin with assumptions and inferences of which are not based upon standards of evidence dpr jones making an appeal to the court of law doesn't mean that you now are are free from validating the assumptions and inferences i mean the court of law was created by who Humans, the standards, the expectations, the purposes, the goals in mind for the court of law was created and established by who? Us as humans. Why is it that you assume that that same notion, that same, that thing that has existed, the court of law, the purposes, the expectations, the use of languages, the goal in mind, why do you, why do you assume that somehow that needs to be extended out into every other aspect of people's lives? You really don't have a standard of evidence for that. That's just merely, I mean, perhaps you have a philosophical argument to be made, something along the lines of utilitarianism, something that's pragmatic, that's useful for people. Of course, useful in the way that you would define it to be useful. But DPR Jones, come on, let's be honest now. What is useful to you? Existence doesn't say should be useful to someone else. Now, does it? No, it doesn't. It's funny, though, that you want to make an appeal to a system which we created, which has a purpose and goal in mind, and somehow speak of existence, our lives, as though they actually have a purpose and goal in mind. That's quite the nice tactic that you employ there, but you're not fooling me. DPR Jones, at one point in your video, with regards to the religious, you say, suppose how their arguments would be taken in the court of law in front of a reasonable judge and jury. Well, you know, I would like to rephrase that as a means of really conveying exactly what you're saying. I want to take that analogy and sort of strip it down of the metaphor that's going on there. This is what it would sound like. Suppose the religious bring their arguments before the system and framework of which DPR Jones has established, in which he has a certain purpose and expectation within this framework that he has, and the religious bring their arguments within the confines of this framework. And DPR Jones's framework has, of course, from the outset, determined that it doesn't work. That's not really much of an argument now, is it, DPR Jones? And what's even more ironic is the fact that you seem to think that simply because you've created a framework that existence says it's normative for every other human to have that same framework. But of course, you can't advance any such argument. Well, I'd be interested to see if you if you actually think you can. So we could always turn the tables, though. Let's let's turn the tables so we give the religious a fair shot at you. Suppose that DPR Jones, you enter into the the framework of the system that the religious have, and you present your arguments, such as, look, 
here's a standard regarding my expectations, regarding evidence. Well, you know, within their framework, they're going to look at you and they're going to say, that's inadmissible. Because of why? Because of God. Because of why for D.P.R. Jones? Because of his use of words. Ultimately, as an atheist, we would say, because both systems are using words as a means of conveying different senses of value and worth that each have arrived at for whatever reason, and both can assert them in very dogmatic ways. And in this way, you're not really unlike the very religious people that you criticize. Y'all take care. Peace.